Wrestling history is full of very audacious ideas that didn't quite work out in real life. Jeff Hardy attempting to walk across three ladders at WrestleMania X7, for example. That's probably too, too many ladders for even you, Jeff. Sometimes, though, luck shines down on certain performers, and sequences that could have gone disastrously wrong end up getting pulled off without a hitch. Let's revel in their artistry, shall we? I'm Adam Pacitti from Cultaholic Wrestling, and these are 10 highly ambitious wrestling spots that somehow worked. Join us! Number 10. Ripley's Apron Slip the Royal Rumble has been home to some truly spectacular spots over the years, but sadly there have been some mistakes. Steve Austin famously slipped over the top rope, eliminating himself too early in 1996. The ending to the 2000 match was botched when The Rock's feet clearly hit the ground first. Hashtag justice for Big Show. And let's not talk about those times Kofi Kingston failed to save himself, that'll just make me sad. Instead, let's focus on the times things did go as planned. Shawn Michaels managed to save himself on just one foot in 1995. Kofi has made plenty of happy memories at the Rumble, but the 2023 women's match gave us this high-risk, high-reward moment. Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan were the final two entrants and were both out on the apron. Morgan hit Ripley with a code breaker, causing the Aussie to stumble backwards, then slip up on the apron while holding on for dear life. Considering that the Judgment Day member had been in since the very start and was likely in need of a sip of Fosters, this moment could have gone horribly wrong. Instead, Ripley held on and eliminated Morgan to win the whole thing. Well done, Mummy. Number 9. Taker's Super Choke Slam. For someone who was never a proper wrestler, Shane McMahon sure did a hell of a lot of crazy things. The King of the Ring pay per view in 2000 was headlined by The Rock and the Brothers of Destruction taking on the McMahon Helmsley faction of Triple H, Vince, and Shane. Predictably, this six man tag broke down into an all out war, with bodies flying everywhere and no small amount of brain damage being dealt out. The most memorable moment from this battle came when The Undertaker decided to try out for the Olympic shot put team with some help from old Shane O'Mac. Shane O was up on the top rope when Taker caught him by the neck. Then, in one swift motion, Taker leapt off the apron, catapulting Shane through the air and slamming him through the announce table. Both men needed to be totally in sync here, otherwise this move would have looked terrible. The dead man actually maintained his grip on Shane the whole way and even landed on his feet on impact. Sadly, the pair would not repeat this skill many years later, when Shane tried to hit Taker with an elbow through the table and completely whiffed it. He's still the greatest pro wrestler in the world, though. Number 8. Eddie's Mask Theft If you asked me what the greatest match in WCW history was, I would say Hulk Hogan vs. The Ultimate Warrior at Halloween Havoc 1998. If you asked me that same question on a day where I hadn't taken crack, then I would probably say Eddie Guerrero vs. Rey Mysterio from the year before. This much lauded Cruiserweight Championship vs. Mask match is easily one of the greatest ever displays of high-flying wrestling. Also, look how cool Rey looks. Purple is definitely his colour. In the build-up to this epic encounter, Mysterio fought Dean Malenko on an episode of Nitro. He looked to have the match in the bag when that dastardly Latino heat made his presence known. As Rey had Malenko in a pinning predicament, Guerrero slid into the ring and in one smooth motion snatched the mask from the luchador's head. Rey had to cover his face, allowing Dean to roll through and put him in the Texas Cloverleaf. Imagine how badly this could have gone if Eddie had stumbled or if the mask hadn't come off in one go. In the hands of such talented pros, however, it was as smooth as Guerrero's mullet. Number 7. Rock's Nightstick Catch As the old saying goes, the great ones make it look easy. This brings us nicely on to none other than the great one himself. Survivor Series 1998 was structured around the night-long Deadly Game Tournament to crown a new world champion. In the quarterfinals, the corporation's Ken Shamrock was set to do battle with the people's champion, The Rock. Except, Kenny wasn't alone. Big Boss Man, who had been running interference all night, came down to the ring to try and help his fellow McMahon employee. With the referee distracted, Boss Man threw his trademark nightstick to the world's most dangerous man, only for Rocky to intercept it mid-air with just one hand and use it for himself. 
For such a simple spot, so much could have gone tits up. Boss Man could have thrown the stick too short, Rock could have fumbled the catch, but instead we got one of the slickest finishes to any Attitude Era outing. As an aside, catching stuff one-handed is clearly a Samoan trait, as Rock's cousin Roman Reigns did exactly the same thing with a microphone at SummerSlam 2022. Number 6. Skipper's Cage Walk If you look up wasted potential in the dictionary, just below the picture of me, you will see one of the total non-stop action wrestling logo. The promotion currently known as Impact Wrestling had so much hype and goodwill behind it during its early days, before a combination of bad business, bad booking, and bad Hulk Hogan drove it into the ground. One of the most memorable moments from its initial run came at the first ever Turning Point pay-per-view in 2004. The main event was a steel cage match, pitting Triple X, that's Christopher Daniels and Elix Skipper, against America's Most Wanted of James Storm and Chris Harris. Whilst Harris was sat atop the six sides of steel, Skipper climbed up to another corner of the cage. Then, with incredible balance, he walked along the top of the structure and hit Harris with an unbelievable Hurricane Rana. So what was his reward for this feat of superhuman ability? Well, he and Daniels lost the match and had to disband forever. Well, at least they went out with a high spot. <laughs> Number 5. Cole's Moonsault Superkick Wrestling isn't always as easy as just putting two talented workers in a ring together. <laughs> AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania. <laughs> Sometimes, though, that is all you need. Adam Cole was defending his North American Championship against Ricochet at the fourth edition of NXT TakeOver Brooklyn in a match that would have given your average PWG fan a coronary about three years earlier. Both men left it all in the ring to give the New York crowd something to remember. In the end, the challenger captured the title to a huge ovation, but this match will forever be defined by one moment that defied the laws of physics. Because he can't help but add a flip to everything he does, Ricochet went to hit a springboard moonsault on his upright opponent. Then, whilst almost completely upside down, Cole lashed out with a pinpoint accurate superkick to cut Rick off mid-flight. Even in the multiple slow-mo replays of the spot, you can see just how perfectly timed this move was. Considering that all manner of things could have gone wrong here, there's a reason this is remembered so fondly. Number 4. Pentagon's Destroyer Through a Table AEW got underway in 2019 with a series of great shows. Their last ever event before their television debut was the first ever All Out, home to one of the most mental ladder matches you will ever see. The Young Bucks and the Lucha Brothers had already gone to war at Double or Nothing, but somebody thought it would be a good idea to introduce a bunch of ladders into the mix. Before anyone could stop them, Pentagon Jr. had Matt Jackson on the top of a ladder with a table set up underneath. Uh-oh. In a moment straight out of a video game, the masked man hit his opponent with a Canadian destroyer off the ladder and through the table below. How neither man got seriously hurt during this insane maneuver is simply incredible, and it just goes to show just how much trust there is between opponents to land moves like this safely. Number 3. Benjamin's Ladder Run We're all very much used to it now, but money in the bank is a bit of a weird concept. So there's a briefcase with a contract inside it, but we never actually get to see the contract. Also, the winner can hand the briefcase over and have a world title match whenever they want. I love it, but you have to admit that is all a bit odd. The first ladder match of its kind needed a big memorable moment to get fans on board with this new stipulation. On hand to provide said moment was none other than the gold standard. Shelton Benjamin would soon make a name for himself doing crazy things, but this was one of the first. As Chris Jericho stood atop one ladder, Benjamin ran up another ladder that had been laid against it, knocking Y2J off the top with a scintillating clothesline. How one of Benjamin's feet didn't slip through the rungs is a total mystery, and how he was able to perfectly catch Jericho with the move after all of that is an even bigger one. With talent like that, you would have thought that Shelton was a shoe in to win money in the bank further down the line. Unfortunately, you'd be wrong. I'm still bitter. Number 2. Zayn's Last Minute Save Hey, it's Shane McMahon again! Only this time he's 17 years older, got grey hair, and sweats about 2 litres just climbing up the ring steps. That didn't stop the boss's son from challenging Kevin Owens to a Hell in a Cell match at the titular pay-per-view in 2017. The big demonic box had become something of a Shane speciality since his return to the company, as demonstrated by his death-defying leap against The Undertaker at Mania 32. The best part of an otherwise pretty dreadful match. Shane O 
tried this stunt again against Owens, laying him out on an announce table before plummeting from the top of the cell. However, lying in wait was Sami Zayn, who rescued his former enemy by pulling him out of the way at the last second. If you watch the slow-mo, you will see that Owens is barely off the table when McMahon goes through it. Our man Sami literally left it to the last possible moment to make the save, making it even more shocking when he did so. Seriously, if he had been just a fraction of a second late, Owens and McMahon would have been fused together like cat and dog. Number 1. Orton Stomp Into RKO We could have given this spot to Randy Orton hitting the RKO on Evan Bourne mid-shooting star press, which required Orton to be flawless when executing the move. However, we tossed a coin and decided to go for this one. Sorry, Evan. Prior to winning the title with the heist of the century, Seth Rollins battled the Viper one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania 31. Rollins thought he had the match won when he went to hit a stomp on Orton, but the Apex Predator instead flung his opponent up in the air with his shoulder before catching him in a perfect RKO. If either Seth or Randy had been just a centimeter out of position, this wouldn't have worked. And considering that this spot was the finish of the match, it would have been quite the bummer if this spot had ended with both men lying in a crumpled heap on the map, their handsome faces covered with egg. However, the wrestling gods were smiling down on us that day. About bloody time they pulled their finger out.